The Interaction Forum, first of its kind, brought together religious bodies outlining their roles as a collective effort in protecting the rights of children. Minister of Gender, Children and Social Protection, Nana Oyelitha, who is calling for collective efforts in passing the National Child's Rights Policy into law, mentioned the state of the Ghanaian child is not encouraging and needs immediate attention. The Minister of Communications, Dr. Omane Buama, has started the process. There was a major uh, meeting around this together with the Ministry of Gender on cyber safety for children. So. There's going to be an engagement with the service providers so that they look at how we can block and re better regulate access to pornographic material by children. But this is an issue we want the parents to look at. Children are increasingly being exposed to pornographic material in Ghana and that does not bode well for us in terms of, um, in terms of reproductive and sexual health. She, however, mentioned Ghana's tries in meeting the MDG-1 of reducing poverty is showing impressive progress as poverty has been halved by 51.7% in 1991 to 28.5% in 2006. She's optimistic the situation will improve with collective efforts from religious bodies and opinion leaders. Some opinion and religious leaders express their readiness to support. The tradition has customary rights for the child, which if you are a child, you are seen as a child. Until you go through certain customary rights, you are not recognized as an adult. Therefore, you are always regarded as a child. So I'm looking forward to a draft or a communique which will encompass all things that existed before education or even Christianity or Islam. Ghana's child's labor survey according to 2003 figures from the Ghana Statistical Service estimate 6.36 million children are engaged in paid economic activity and nearly one in every five children in Ghana are engaged in some form of work that can be classified as child labor. The ministry believes a national policy on protection of the rights of the child will help tackle these issues. The the religious leaders have agreed to sign a communique. That means strategically we are bringing them on board to now systematically support child protection in Ghana. And this community, communique is going to draw out how this is going to be done. 95% of Ghanaians, according to the population census, are religious. So that means that it creates an opportunity for the churches, the imams, and African traditional leaders to also help in protecting children. This is a very historic event. The Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection for the very first time meeting with religious bodies on how to protect the rights of a child. Now, according to the communique, it's been outlined what exactly is expected of each religious leader on how to protect the rights of a child. I'm sure you've already been fed with, with the statistics of the number of children who are not protected, the issue of, of protection pornography, access to pornography through their phones and several others. It is, we are hoping that this will be fashioned into the uh, national policy on the rights of the child and together this will protect the rights of the child. My name is Eton Amsim and I'm reporting for Joy News.